the higher self um, uh, has parts of its roots in Sagioli's psychosynthesis. He, he, um, he talks about the higher self. Um, and one might talk about this in terms of our spiritual self, but essentially what we're looking at there are, are maybe our, a different level of consciousness or a different part of ourself. Um, and it's the part that begins to engage with, with our spiritual journeys. Um, you know, this is maybe when we begin to, uh, uh, to work with uh, a spiritual practice or a spiritual path, you know, when we begin to, to sort of engage with things beyond ego. Um, so this might be when we engage with deeper levels of meditation. Um, I'm sure that somebody who practices from a psychosynthesis perspective will, will work with, with that aspect in a, in, in a very clear way um, and will want to kind of, um, in the way of working, communicate with that. In very much the way that we do, you know, if we, one could potentially begin to say when we have conversations with God, and God in inverted commas there, however we define God, that we're engaging with our higher self. Um, and in other words, our self beyond ego. And we could talk about that, our transpersonal self. Yeah. Uh, and I guess it's so important to us, the higher self, um, or it's an important aspect of what it is to be to be a human being.